urgent warning from the DEA about fentanyl, laced drugs on the streets of America. The ravages of the synthetic opioid fentanyl. More than 100,000 people died by overdose during the 12 month period ending in April, most caused by fentanyl. Fentanyl is widely used as an anesthetic in hospitals. There's a pain patch. There are even fentanyl lollipops. When it's used in a hospital, you have anesthesiologists who can measure it very perfectly. But on the street, it's almost impossible to measure correctly because just two grains of rice worth of fentanyl is enough to kill you. Almost all of the ingredients used to make fentanyl are made in China. The ingredients are called precursors and they're sent over on giant cargo ships to Mexico. In Mexico, the cartels finish the fentanyl and they ship it over the border into the U.S. In the 2000s, it started showing up on the streets in the U.S., but it wasn't really until the last five or six years that it started causing so many deaths. Fentanyl is now the deadliest drug in the U.S. according to a new study. Heroin topped the list for the previous four years. Stunning new revelations tonight of the death of music superstar Prince. Authorities revealed today that Prince might not have even been aware he was taking the extremely powerful drug fentanyl that killed him. It went from basically the DEA was barely aware of it at all to it was killing more people than any drug in American history. Fentanyl is a strange drug because most people don't actually want it. A huge percentage of people dying from fentanyl never even realized they were taking fentanyl in the first place. Fentanyl is used as a cutting agent because it's so cheap. And so drug dealers and distributors use fentanyl to punch up heroin and other drugs because heroin is pretty expensive to grow. You know, you need a field, you need a lot of space, water, and time, whereas fentanyl can be made really cheaply and quickly in a lab. And so there's a strong profit incentive for the Mexican cartels to get out of the heroin business and to get into the fentanyl business. People who have substance abuse disorder might have you know, been getting by in the streets for years or even decades, but now fentanyl has really changed the whole game and drugs that they never imagined would have fentanyl before now all of a sudden have fentanyl. Not only is fentanyl being cut into heroin, it's being cut into meth, into coke. The worst part right now is that fentanyl is being cut into fake prescription pills. So I always tell people, any pill, any powder that you buy in the street could have fentanyl in it. In terms of young people who might be taking drugs at a party, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's a bad time to be a young person. Nowadays, all the cocaine, all these pills, they could potentially have fentanyl in them. And so the days of kind of just like indiscriminately taking drugs with your friends are probably over. It's one hit, one nostril. It's gonna go straight up because it's a mist. It's as simple as CPR. It's something that everyone should be prepared for because it is such a sweeping problem. If you're gonna take any pill or any powder, you really need to check it first. Uh, fortunately, there are drug checking kits that are really cheap and really easy to use. This is a fentanyl test strip. 
and it works just like a pregnancy test. They're not perfect, you know, it's possible like if you have a pill and you scrape off part of it to mix in the solution, that part of the pill might not have fentanyl, but a different part of the pill did have fentanyl. Still, it's much, much safer and I highly recommend these type of testing strips. The war on drugs and the tend towards incarcerating drug users has been a big failure over the decades. And the kind of silver lining, I guess, of the current opioid epidemic is that's starting to change. We're starting to reduce penalties for drug users. We're starting to get more funding dedicated towards prevention and treatment. Um, but we need a lot more in that direction.